Hello everyone, today is August 16, 2023. I highly recommend you play this video on 1.75 speed because I talk really slow. <laughs> so let's dive into it today. If you notice, obviously we've been discussing this trend down. It's amazing how this trend line, which was drawn a few days ago, is holding. And even today we just bounce right, we stop right there. As well as on the top, it's just a trend line trend down we could also draw one more here maybe move this down a lower uh, and we can see that you know this trend both on the upside and the downside is kind of it's holding so it's an indication of weak hands buyers and sellers it's just that so we also have to remember to look at the bigger picture first which starts off from the monthly i did discuss in my previous video that this is july and this is august august was is an inside month still if it breaches the low of the previous month it becomes one time framing lower on the monthly that's a big negative so we have to really watch that level i don't know if it's going to happen in the overnight tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon next week we don't know or if it doesn't happen at all nothing is guaranteed or can be predictable in trading if anybody says or can predict something in trading, run away from that person, run far away, okay? Trading is an art, not a science. And you have to look at the actual market-generated information, which we call as MGI, meaning, is there volume? Is there, you know, gusto selling? Is there selling from visual levels or from some prominent indicators? Now, this is the monthly. We move on to the weekly, which is also on a downtrend. It's one time framing lower. Now, on the daily, Again, this was drawn a few, I would say about a few days ago. It's holding that trend down. We also have to notice the 50 SMA, which is breached. A lot of uh, long-term traders also look at that 50 SMA, 100 SMA, 200 SMA. These are important indicators. And also, if you look at that green line, it's the 8 SMA, which short-term traders also look at. So... It's all negative at the moment. The trend is down monthly, weekly. Oh, sorry, not monthly yet, just about yet, but we're almost there. Monthly, the weekly is down and the daily is down. Now, let's look at our market profiles again. Now, if you notice that I'd marked this 4417 level, which is also 4418 to the 17 level, this is an important level for me. Why did I mark that level? If I look back about a month ago, that was that low of the month. And this right here was an afternoon pullback low. Now, some of you don't really know what an afternoon pullback low is to do with the market profile. In the afternoon, sometimes if the inventory is getting too long, it gets rebalanced. Uh, yes, it is a bit confusing to understand the concept, but maybe I make an educational video sometime in the future. Nothing is decided yet, though. So I did mark that level. It's an area, rather. For me, even support resistance, it's not just one line. It's a, an area which I look at. Okay, so going back here, we came right there to that level, which also happens to be on the trend line, and it bounced and it stopped right there. Let me quickly show you the daily market profile. Some very, very important indicators today, indications rather today. I'll also talk about the trade I took, not just to, you know, it's educational also, and it's for my own records. If you look at the ABD highs, they sold off from a very you know, single level, which also happens to be the close to the previous day prominent point of control, which is that I think the 4466, yeah, 4466, 65 level. When sometimes, you know, if you see selling coming off from an exacting level, of course, it makes it weak and poor at the same time in this case, uh, meaning that the market could be too long. So people or traders buying and looking at that level and saying, oh my God, you know, it's come to that important level, we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell. It does not have enough strong hand buyers to push this higher. So that indicates that, hey, there are no strong hand buyers. So I took a short somewhere in the D period, I don't know where exactly, but somewhere in the D period, and the value was lower. So this was yesterday's value, today's value was clearly lower in that D period. And I kept my stop right above that prominent point of control. So good trade location is basically where you know where you get in and get out if you know you're wrong, if you think you're wrong, okay? 
may, that's defined as a good trade location. So another indication for me to take that trade was the V close. The B period low, the C, B period was exactly at the last. The C was at the settle. And, you know, I could see, clearly see that tempo slowing on the upside. So yes, a combination of that, a combination of this, and the, the value lower, I took that shot. I let it ride, especially after I took out the open, I let it ride, and of course I took my trades off eventually because the FOMC minutes were gonna be out, and I don't wanna be active in the market when any kind of news comes around. I, I don't recommend it to anybody either. Um, we have to, however, take this information forward. So I'll be marking this 44, 65, 66 level as an important level just to watch on the upside. Uh, you also had another trade which was against value, but if you see that F high, the J high was weak because it bounced off right off from the last. And once, you know, you could have gone against it because it eventually got taken out, but not the best trade because you're trading against the value. But just, that's just something to note, just something to remember, okay? Because it can happen if the value is higher and you could have gone long, okay? Uh, moving forward, we have to watch to see if this level holds. Um, we have to see how the overnight goes. Do we see a prominent point of control in the overnight? Do we see double distribution, triple distribution? Uh, we really don't know what's gonna bring, right? It's all market-generated information, MGI. Our next important level on the bottom lower side is of course that 4400 level which is important very important support we we really have to notice if it breaks and we see downward continuation or if it breaks and comes back in we don't know anything could happen right trading is an art not a science you go with market generated information all right guys always remember look at the larger time frame start of monthly weekly and you look at your daily be it for any stock, any any uh, instrument you're trading, individual stocks as well. And another thing, don't ever try to catch a falling knife. Okay, guys, that's the easiest way to blow your account. And also never add to a losing trade. These two are my golden rules of trading. I always have to remind myself that too. I mean, now that I've been trading for a while, I know those are, it's sort of ingrained in my mind, never fade a trend day. Never add to a losing trade, things like that, okay? I hope you guys have a productive week ahead and trade safe. Bye-bye.